encourage a lot of people to do is the debate is should you pursue your passion or should you pursue money pursue your passion or pursue money when i was in my early 20s i couldn't give two shits about money that's the ironic thing that i ended up in finance and hosting a financial show is that i was just about pursuing my passions i was a stand-up comedian i did nightlife in south beach i was a substitute teacher i worked at a sports agency i was just doing shit that i wanted to do until I was like, holy crap, I'm sick of living on my friend's couches. Let me go get make some money. And basically, I entered that, you know, the, the financial world. It took me years to cut my teeth and, you know, make it in the finance world. A decade later, I'm like, holy shit, I'm a millionaire. This is insane. I was sleeping on couches 10 years ago. Now I have, like, a legitimate business and a le legitimate business model. And then after that happened, I went back to pursuing passions that I had. I opened up a stand-up comedy club next to Bodega in South Beach called Ricky's. So we did that and nightlife stuff with Bodega in Miami if you're ever down there. But then I kind of circled back to my passions and now I'm working on something that I'm passionate about which is having conversations with people regarding what their passions are and finance and financial wellness and dating and relationships. So ultimately I'm giving you that, that big spiel right there to ask you like how do you balance your passion which is clearly animals but also Making enough money so you can freaking feed your animals. How do you balance yeah. the passion and the money? Well, my whole passion, my whole life is animals, you know? So I got to make a way, you know, to find out how to feed myself and feed them. And it's through animals, through my passion. And you can have thoughts of making millions of dollars all you want, you know? But if you don't have the work ethic or the, the drive to want to go through whatever you got to go through. Because chasing money, you're going to get to a point where... Whatever the fuck you're going through just ain't worth it for the money. Right. You know? You just don't want to go through it anymore. You don't want the stress. You don't want the you know, the pressure to keep going forward sometimes. And if your end goal in that situation is just your, it's just money, you're going to break. You're always going to break. If you have a passion, something that, you know, like, you'll fucking die doing it. Are you, are you able to curse on here? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> if you're, you're going to die doing it, you can go through your lowest point in your life, and you're just not going to give up. And right. then that can turn a whole different side of you into being hungry, disciplined, mm -hmm. having your behavior match your finances, you know, when you do get another shot, you know, and then your money is going to triple, quadruple. You're going to make more money than you ever thought you're going to make in your life if you're chasing your passion because you have to drive the work ethic, the discipline, the dedication, and the durability to go through anything. You're going to have your mountains and your valleys. And if you're going to go through mountains and valleys in life, you got to have a passion mm -hmm. to keep you going. Do you think